So there's a new pain medication that was just FDA approved this January 2025, and it allegedly rivals the efficacy of opioids while being a non-opioid. So let's talk about that. So if you're new to this channel, I'm Dr. Nahim Mizan. I run Mizan Coaching LLC. Please like and subscribe and for up-to-date medical information. Um, and if you need medical coaching or anything else, just check the description to contact us. All right, so this medication is called Jarnavex, uh, which is a funny name. Uh, I have no idea why they called it that. They could have gone for something a lot more, you know, like memorable or easier on the tongue. Um, but the chemical name is called Suzetrigin. Um, it's, it was approved by the FDA just last or two months ago. It's March right now. So January 2025. And it's a new non-opioid pain medication for adults with moderate to severe acute pain. It acts by blocking pain signals in the peripheral nervous system without the addictive potential of opioids. So how does it do this? It basically acts on sodium channels. And for those of you who know me, I, I've been a medical legal consulting physician and a medical coach for over four years now. Um, and what I do is that I find the most up-to-date medical information and present it on this YouTube channel. This is really just a hobby of mine. But, you know, this really shocked me because there, was liter there were literally no signs of anyone creating a new pain medication. And, you know, I think the reason the impetus behind this is the fentanyl crisis. Like, I really do believe as, you know, just as a, an aware physician that's out of the clinical space, um, I think in the United States and parts of Canada and, you know, all over the world, really, like there's a ton of opioid addiction that, you know, should have been avoided, um, you know, either from the source or from, you know, more illicit like sources. But, um, but what I mean is that a lot of healthcare systems just give opioids like candy, like literally patients are just given morphine if they have like leg cramps. And it's something that I, I've been advocating since I was an intern in residency, that there's no need to just automatically give opioids, right? Like those of, you, those of us who've had uh, severe, severe acute pain, yes, it sucks. And maybe a couple sessions of very low dose opioids is fantastic. Um, however, all opioids, and I, and I need to stress that again, every single opioid, even oxycodone, Percocet, whatever, um, every single one has the potential for addiction. 